Power Electronics Laboratory under the Power Department located at Block Perdana, Ground Floor and under supervision of Assistant Engineer Mr. Hafiz. This lab can occupy 15 students in one time during the laboratory sessions. Core costs in EE200 such as EEE515, Electrical Engineering Laboratory 2 has used this lab facilities. As you can see, this lab is equipped with safety and emergency kits as well as the signage and safety force procedure to guide the staff and students in the event of emergency. These are the equipment inside this lab. The equipment are three-phase isolating transformer, voltage supply plus minus 15 volt 1.5 ampere from the supply system on the workplace, controller, four-channel isolation amplifier, four-channel oscilloscope with system triggering, and universal multimeter. These are the components used in this experiment. Tricister, diode, resistor 100 ohm and connecting wires for part a student will set up the experiment as this the unidirectional ac voltage controller use one transistor and one diode connected in inverse parallel or across each other in opposite directions the 45 volt ac supply voltage is connected to the circuit and 100 ohms resistor is connected as a load student will adjust or control the firing angle here we are set at 60 degree according to the values in the lab manual. Student will connect a multimeter across the load. Student will display a waveform using an oscilloscope. As you can see here, the waveform shown in the oscilloscope are Channel 1 is a supply voltage. Channel 2 is an output voltage. Channel 3 is an output current. The output voltage can be varied by varying the firing angle and now we can change the firing angle to 120 degree. So as we can see now, the output voltage has been changed.